What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get hundreds of thousands of bells quickly in Animal Crossing. So today we're going to be showing you how to create your own tarantula island in Animal Crossing New Horizons. And to this it's pretty simple but it does take a little bit of time. So first on your Switch Home, if it's not 7 to 10, so tarantulas only spawn from 7 to 10 p.m. So if it's not that, right now it's almost 7 but it's not quite 7. So you want to go to System Settings system, date and time, and then time zone, you don't want to synchronize, and then you want to change that time to 7 to 10, so I'm going to put it around 8, and now I'm going to open Animal Crossing. Okay, so once you're in, you're going to go to your island, and you want to empty all your storage except for a net shovel and an axe so you're gonna go through all the news usually there's nothing just ignore Isabel and once you go through the three loading screens you want to check your pockets so right now I wanna I got rubbish briefcase and stuff so I'm actually gonna keep my iron just in case my axe breaks so I'm gonna go into my house and put uh, a bunch of stuff to my storage you can also sell stuff at Nook's Cranny if you want to get some extra bells it depends on the items so just gonna put Rover's briefcase in there don't need a slingshot don't need a fishing rod don't really need a ladder well I might I don't think I do put away all the stuff that you don't need so you're going to want to have a net, an axe, a shovel, and anything else you feel is needed. I'm going to have iron just in case my uh, axe or shovel breaks. And then I could just ask for a flimsy one and craft it. So you're going to need a Nook Miles ticket, which costs about 2,000 Nook Miles. So that might take a little while depending on how many Nook Miles you have. I have two in my storage, so I'm just going to use those. And normally it's very rare to find a Tarantula Island, but... You can turn any random island, or almost any random island, into a tarantula island, as long as it's spawning bugs. So, I'm also going to take some fruit. You're going to want to need some fruit if there's not fruit already on your island. So, I'm just going to take a few. Uh, Sky wants to talk to me. I have more reactions to teach you. Epic. Shivering, I think. I need more reactions. I just started getting reactions, so. Fearful. Yeah. Fearful reaction. So, you want to get some fruit. You don't need too many. Uh, most of the time, there's fruit on your random island. So, you shouldn't need to worry that much. So, now you're going to head to the airport and go to your random island using your Nook Miles ticket. So yeah, we're going to talk to Orville here, blah blah blah, I want to fly, Roger, looks like I have a Nook Miles ticket, use Nook Miles ticket, and let's go. Alright, so once you arrive at your island, you want to get rid of all the flowers, all the trees, all the rocks, anything bugs can spawn on. So you actually don't need to get rid of the weeds, but you do want to get rid of all the flowers, and once you get all these, just dispose of them in some random corner. So this is the tedious part of the process, so you want to just get rid of everything. That's why you're going to need an axe, a shovel, and there's already- oh god, please, please. Oh, there we go. I caught a wasp, that's got a sting. So you want to clear all this out. I might actually- do I need to travel over there? I might need a vaulting pool for this island. For the highest chance. This island is kind of annoying. It does have a giant river in the middle, but it should be fine. So I'm gonna go do time loss of me clearing out the land. You're gonna have to get rid of all these little rocks here. So you're gonna want to eat a fruit and then smack it with a. Sh if you can hit it, smack it with a shovel. 
And look, I got some iron. I'm gonna clear your hole back up and continue clearing. Now, if you're playing on portable mode on your Switch, you might want to pick up the Wii's just for visibility reasons, but if you're playing on a TV, you should be able to see Tarantulas fine. Another little reminder, if you don't see any bugs in your island at the start, that probably means the island can't spawn bugs and you might want to switch islands. So here my axe broke, that's why I brought some iron, but I got some iron here anyway, so you're gonna want to talk to Orville, or I mean Wilbur, and ask him for a flimsy axe and craft a iron one. So I think I'm almost done clearing up this bottom area. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the up air, upper area. This island's not optimal for tarantula spawning. You really want a flat island, but this one should do fine. Oh wait, I gotta rid, get rid of uh, this coconut tree. And so once you get all your stuff from here, you want to lay out all your unneeded things like wood and flowers. So... I'm gonna dig this up, and you want to go to like a random area where tarantulas probably won't spawn. Actually, I'm gonna put them up here because there are these, I forgot their name, they're like little water roaches or whatever, and they spawn on these rocks, and they're sometimes hard to spot, so you just don't want these spawning here. Alright, so once you place everything here, I'm almost done, I just gotta put some more flowers here. I'm gonna keep these fruits, uh, if I need to get more space, and I'll release them here. And you want to put them on these sea rocks, and it'll just help... Uh, the spawning of some bugs that you can't stop from spawning. So now that you have basically the whole area cleared, um, you want to get like a little space, like a more open space, and you want to create a diamond-like shape around you. So this will be like your little trap you can go to. So once you run around and scare away the other bugs and see a tarantula, run into... I cannot create this. Try to create a diamond shape with a hole at the under you to end to both sides of you so like this and once you see a tarantula you can run in here pull out your net and catch them so now what you need to do is scare away all the other bugs and look for tarantulas and catch them so i'll do another time lapse <laughs> scare away any other bugs that happen to spawn and just wait for tarantulas to spawn. Spawning. There's a tarantula, there's a scorpion actually. So you can also find scorpions. And I messed up. I need to make a trap. Oh god. Well. Okay, so I'm gonna make a trap here because I forgot to do that and now I know that's working. I saw scorpion. Scorpions and tarantulas are both worth a lot. So if you find either one both are good, you can both sell them. I'm pretty sure tarantulas are worth a bit more, but either way. So I'm gonna leave them there when I see one. I'm gonna have my net out. I wonder if it despawns. And there's all these tiny little watery bugs. I don't even know what they're called. It's annoying. All right, so I found another scorpion. Now you're just gonna wanna run. Make sure it doesn't get too far behind. To your trap, get in there, and I'll just start spinning around in circles. 
Now, you want to get the timing right and catch one. Look, a scorpion. This is my first time actually catching a scorpion, so I'm going to probably turn that one into a museum. But if I get any more, I'll definitely put them into selling for bells. <clears throat> that one scared me. I did not see that one coming, and I just find myself falling. And that one took way... That one was way faster than the other one, so I just didn't expect one. So I'm glad, yeah. Rip. Alright, well, time to keep going, I guess. Oh, I see a scorpion up there. Just gotta get up there in time and run back to my trap. Alright. It's just around here. Oh god, that was close. These scorpions are definitely speedy. So be careful. You just start spinning around. I just want to wait until they get there. And that's my second scorpion. I've actually saw seen four in with in like about four minutes. So about a scorpion a minute. Uh, I probably could have caught all four, but you know I'm just that bad at the game. Got some extra nook miles because the Earth Day event. So I mean, I think it's still Earth Day because there was a times five earlier. I'm I'm not sure. Uh, it's either that or just a lot of nook miles. Either way. Getting a lot of nook miles, getting a lot of bells. It's pretty epic. So that's gonna be it for this video. I bet you guys can get way more than me. This isn't the best island for it, and I died to two of them, so... If you're a better player than me, then you can probably get like 50 in the time I got four. Well, two that I actually caught. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.